What's up you guys? It's me, Cybeck, with another video. Today I feel a little bit better, so I just decided to come out of the house and start working on the van. <clears throat> um, today I am trying to put back this, I'm not sure what they call it. Is it called a bed liner or a cabin liner? Um, it's been two years. I absolutely know, I, 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 don't, I don't know where, where the parts are. This is what I found as I was scramming through everything. I found the window window visor thingies. Let me flip the camera around. These are all the parts I could find. The light is still missing. I have no clue where the light is. I found the lights to the back. I don't know where this is. So you guys use me as, as an example on, if you're gonna rip something apart, plan on putting it back together within that month or if you have good memory good for you otherwise make sure you're documenting how you're taking things off especially if you're someone like me and forget easily i do have the um cover right here <sighs> you guys i honestly don't know how i'm gonna do this uh i guess instead of complaining and just looking at everything i can start the, the real reason why I originally took this off, even though I wanted, didn't want to because it was my brother's idea. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm dealing with it now, and I can't go back. You know, it's done. So basically, I, I'm going to have to figure out how to put this all these things back together. Um, I couldn't find anyone online that have ripped this uh, liner off and put it back on. So there's no, you know, videos online. Excuse me, guys. So today, I'm probably gonna spend my time just doing what the doing what I originally had planned by taking this off is insulating it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray adhesive it and put the insulation up and I guess do as much as I can today and figure out how to put this liner back on and how it goes. <clears throat> I think I'll be okay. I've been using this light to see things because, you know, you, I was missing that light. So, either I'm going to have to buy a new light or I'm going to have to figure it out. At least we still have the harness right here. So, let's see how today goes. So, I don't want to sit around and just complain how I can't figure things out. I would rather just utilize my energy and time and do what I can do. So, I'm just going to go in with my insulation and just stuff as much as I can in here. So the time you question yourself like, is all this insulation actually gonna make a difference, you know? But at least I will have everything film and document if I ever decide to upgrade fans or get something bigger. At least, like, my buyer will be able to see, like, all the detail work I put into the van. So they know they're getting something, a build with a good amount of work to it, you know? I, I got you guys, um, plotted on, uh. A spray can right now because I didn't really plan on filming today. I didn't bring my tripod with me. Also while I'm doing this I want to put a disclaimer out there. I am NOT a professional you guys. Whatever you see me doing on here and if you copy it it's on your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything. I think everyone should know that as they go and go into YouTube doing stuff. There's a hole right here. I'm not sure you guys can see. There's a hole on each side. Oh no, like that's a big space. I should be insulating that too. We also seen a lot of people even like 
do the sound deadening on these bare metal piece parts right here too and I feel like we just wanted to get the thin areas of the roof even though I bought so much sound deadening I should be using it otherwise it's just going to waste but I feel like how much is too much you know I feel like a small van like this is not gonna get freezing cold such as a small van you know I see people do those China diesel heaters and they 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 say they'll have it like the heater on for only a couple of hours and it'll keep them warm the entire night you know <coughs> all right so i got majority of the front already insulated good portion of it and that was just one strip you guys or one pad i've seen one uh for transit connect build they only use one of this one box of the this wool and then someone had to use like one and a half so it really depends on how much you're stuffing in to your build you know what's crazy i've come to realize <coughs> It's no shade or I'm not trying to start any drama and I don't want to make you feel like I'm entitled to their ideas but I feel like some people when they put when they show their work online and you ask them how they do it did it like they be greedy with their information and you'd be like really it's not a competition like I'm just trying to uh, <laughs> like try to find a more efficient way to do things I guess like once you learn something you don't want to show everyone or whatever whatever I guess if you're a business but most of these people that you ask they're not even in the business they're just doing it for yourself I guess you know there's people out there that steal people's idea and profit off of it and they pretend like they never take it from people we have people out there that do that you know it's always the big people taken from the small people But I want to start uh, a topic that uh, will start commotion there. All right, that's looking beautiful. I don't want to take too much film time out. And I guess I'll film when I get to actually insulating this part. Oh yeah, you guys, I found the light. It was next to the door panel. guys i'm not sure if you're able to see but i got the whole entire top insulated i was gonna insulate right here too but honestly it's already insulated inside and i want to make sure my lining my liner still fits and i'm not adding extra width to the extra metal of the, the frame of the van and then my liner won't end up fitting so all right, our insulation is done. Um, for those that want to know, I use the 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Like literally found it in the garage. It's probably mines I used a long time ago when I was vinyl wrapping. Um, my Hello Kitty ceilings I had on this uh, Ricer Honda Civic I used to have. Anyways. Um, but yeah, from here, I'm going to figure out how to get this liner up there and find the bolts and see how far I get. All right, guys, as I'm looking at the ceilings, this is the brace. I have no clue what it is or how it goes back on. As I'm looking at that and looking at this little plastic piece I have, um, this whole bracket was supposed to come off with that instead we ripped it off so i'm gonna be able i'm gonna 
try to figure out if I can repair this somehow and I'll let you guys know what I decide to do. Okay guys, I have one of the braces off. As you can see, it actually goes like this. And this bolt goes underneath. And this is what bolts to the frame of the car right here. Instead, we were probably, if I look back at the videos, we were probably working on this when it got dark and we ended up ripping this whole thing off with the bolts off. So it is still salvageable because I don't know how we took it off. It's been two years, but this bolt right here that bolts onto the actual frame of the car is a T25, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these up with these. You go that way like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, you guys. And then I'm gonna detach the other one that's still inside the car. And then I think I, I'm good to go. We'll see if I can get this done today. And also, we're gonna make this a bonus video. Excuse the mess. But you guys already seen like when I first got the van, I scrubbed everything. Look how dirty it is still. So when I first got this van, they rigged, um, I don't know what this is called, uh, a weather strip here. They rigged one up, like they super glued on. It was so bad, you guys. I had to literally scrape all the glue off. And it was so bad that I couldn't get a new one to stick on. And every time I bought a, like a factory one, it would fall apart. So I ended up like, you know what? I'm tired of buying a brand new factory one it won't stick so i end up finding these on amazon you guys and it worked perfectly fine and the 3m tape that comes with i don't think it's 3m but they advertise that 3m 3m juicy says that on the label but you guys it's held up for a good five months already like and i get no wind sound i get no rain when i'm driving so if you guys would rather replace your strip with this instead of the OEM one. I'll make sure I hopefully I don't forget when I upload this on YouTube the link, but I'll make sure to link that for you guys. And I wish I had a better angle for you, but unfortunately I don't. Um, we will plan better next time with the tripod and everything. Okay, so. The challenge today is trying to figure out how this all went back on. There you guys go. Alright guys, an hour later. And I got the full headliner installed back. back and I'm actually so happy about this. I end up stripping one of these bolts right here that kind of keep this up here. So I might have to somehow either get a new bolt and expand that, make it just tighter by putting a bigger bolt in there or find a way to make it, maybe make a bracket to make this stronger. Cause right here it says, do not place heavy, uh, heavy or hard object on shelves. And usually people will put a board over here to extend the storage <coughs> I feel like I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have to reinforce this so it doesn't end up collapsing collapsing because honestly it's been like two years since I took this off so I just had a miss uh miss box over there with a bunch of screws and everything so I use what I thought that fit it but I got it back on I got even got the lights working again uh, I don't know why the lights don't work when the doors are open. Maybe that sensor is off somewhere, but I'm happy about it. This is what I want to achieve for this video. I did the installation and I filmed that for you guys. It's sad that I actually spent the, like when I first got this car, I spent like an hour scrubbing this um, liner to make it clean looking and look how dirty it is again. It's like, it's never going to be perfect. And plus once I end up building the shelf out here, you're not going to be able to see it. I like the fact that this comes with this little net, but I got to find a way I can somehow uh, drill something to make this bracket a little bit stronger. I'm going to figure something out because I don't think this is going to hold. Uh, 
I don't know you guys. I'm gonna I'm not sure if I had a brace here or not, or that's empty. I gotta look at other Transit Connect fans online. But you guys, that is the end of this video. Um fully in in um full in blah, blah, blah. what am I talking about? Fully um installated top of the roof and the sides and the front of this uh front of the van and i'm not sure if, yeah i filmed that you guys the sound deadening is even done like in the cabin of the car as well but anyways i'm gonna end this video here you guys thanks for watching until the next video if you like videos like this give it a thumbs up please comment down below would we'll love connect with other people that are building the same van as me because like this is real and raw footage of me working on the van like having no clue what i'm doing but uh, it's my build and I'm learning as I go and it's I'm having fun while I do it. And I think the next video will be, will be me finishing wiring the rest of the security camera up or me working on framing the walls. And then the, I think the electrical part of the van, I might not attempt to do, I might ask help or I might end up reaching to someone online that lives in the Midwest that can come through and do a quick wiring for me and I'll pay them or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, with, with that part of the van. But anyways, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys soon.